Hello guys, so uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel, uh, Ruth Online Vlad. The video that I would like to share today is how to get married in Philippines with foreigner fiancé. Uh, I already made this uh, kind of video on my um, YouTube channel. However, I um, fast forwarded when I edited it. So since I talk too fast, so some of the uh, viewers are having a hard time understanding me so i decided to redo it so hopefully this time it can help you all uh for those foreigner citizens that have a plan and wants to get married here in philippines uh with your filipino uh, fiance or partner and wondering the steps well uh this video is for you as i will discuss the process requirements the fees and um, expectations and uh, by the way all these informations on this video are from my own experience when me and my US citizen husband got married uh, last um, May 2022 and uh, from the local civil registry where we process our marriage license also I use some of the sample templates uh, from Google for reference and um, I highly suggest uh, as well that you inquire at your local civil registry where you plan to process the marriage license just to make sure here are the steps um, and requirements on the process that needs to comply on how to get married in the Philippines with a foreigner fiance so first process of course you have to apply a marriage license at your preferred local civil registry office then um, you have to submit and comply all these following requirements First is a personal appearance of both the contracting parties, uh, which is the Filipino and foreigner citizen, must appear personally in local civil registry where, when um, applying a marriage license. Next is the Sindomar or Certificate of No Marriage for both parties, the bride and the groom, who are applying for um, the marriage license. Uh, it is a certificate to prove that both of you um, are not already currently married to someone else. Both parties can request this at any PSA office for 210 pesos each. Um, or uh, you can order it online. You may watch my previous uh, video tutorial on how to order a PSA certificate online and have it delivered directly to your uh, doorstep without any hassle. So uh, guys, remember that even you are a foreigner uh, which is entering into marriage, you are required to submit it. In our case, uh, we didn't know that my uh, US citizen husband needed a CNMR. We just found out when we submitted our um, documents to the local civil registry and they asked uh, for it but we have nothing to provide so we were in a hurry to get it at PSA and thanks God we, uh, we were able to get it um, in the same day. Next is birth certificate of both the groom and the bride so for those Filipino citizens it must uh, be a uh, uh, Philippine Statistic uh, Authority copy or PSA and for foreigners uh, they can get it to their home country so make sure before you travel here uh, bring it with you next is the parents consent or legal guardian consent uh, it is when either one or both the parties entering um, a marriage are between the ages of 18 to 20 years old and parental advice for um, 21 and 25 years old. They are both uh, documents in writing signed by parents or guardian. Uh, you can ask a lawyer to create uh, one for you or use the uh, free uh, template um, I found at Google uh, simply copy it at the uh, uh, informations and fill it out then um, proceed to a notary public office to have it notarized 
Next is a certificate of legal capacity to contract marriage. It is uh, required for all foreigners uh, getting married here in Philippines. Uh, to affirms that there are no legal impediments to the uh, foreign citizen marrying a Filipino or the foreigner is not uh, currently um, married to someone else. So um, before you can get it to any embassy or consulate of a foreign citizen here in Philippines but um, there was a memorandum issued last March 2021 uh, stated that BSA accepts local notarizations here in Philippines. So for those uh, foreigners who wish to marry here are not required to have their affidavits notarized at foreign uh, citizen embassy or consulate here in the Philippines. So you may visit the PSA website. Um, I put the link um, in the description below of this video. You may click it and then copy and uh, paste this blank sample template. Um, fill out the foreigner citizen details and have it notarized in any public notary office uh, near you. Uh, please don't forget to bring the original and uh, photocopy of your ID as they will ask for it. And also uh, take a screenshot of these two pages which is the copy of the memorandum and have it um, photocopy then attach it with the um, notarized legal capacity to contract uh, marriage affidavits when submitted it to the local civil registry officer in our case um, me and my husband didn't print this so the local civil registry almost um, denied our um, marriage license application they insisted that uh, we need to get it and a request in US Embassy um, but I, I argue that um, and insisted that the US Embassy don't accept an appointment for this kind of affidavit at this time um, I'm, I'm glad I took the screenshot of the US Embassy website announcement and showed it to them and finally they agreed and asked me to print it instead uh, so for those widows or widowers entering the marriage uh, don't forget to bring the death certificate of your deceased um, ex-spouse to prove that you can uh, legally uh, remarry and for those Filipino uh, citizens death certificate you can request it at PSA annulment paper or divorce decree um, either one or both of the bride and the groom that are entering the marriage are annulled or divorced um, don't forget to bring it to prove that the previous marriage is void and both are free to get married again bswd and rh seminars um they are the one who will um conduct uh, family planning and uh, pre-marriage counseling seminar it's like a half day long but if both of you are old enough like me and my husband who are uh, 30 years old and above they don't require us to undergo a seminar as they said that we already old enough to enter um to the marriage and um aware of family planning so we just have a short interview with them and um that's it they signed the paper and we're done but uh, it depends on your local civil registry. They might uh, require you and your fiancé to attend. Uh, lastly, don't forget to bring any valid ID for both the Filipino and foreigner citizen as the local civil registry will uh, ask for it.
And if the Filipino citizen who are entering into marriage is late registered, please bring uh, some of the documents you have uh, listed in, uh, in case the local civil registry might ask. And just a tip uh, to avoid any delays, uh, bring, please bring the uh, originals and uh, three photocopies of each all the documents mentioned so that uh, you don't need to um, to look for the um, Xerox machine and um, it will be delayed the process and that's all guys once our requirements are complete uh, we submitted it to the local civil registry office and uh, they give us the marriage license form to fill out um, for both my informations and my husband I suggest um, to double check the informations you wrote uh, to avoid any errors because it's going to be a hassle to get it corrected and you have to pay extra and after that we asked to pay the marriage license fee which is uh, 500 pesos and then the cedula or community tax which is uh, depends on the monthly income uh, we both declared and um, the foreigners fee which is 200 pesos and finally guys after the stressful and a very long wait um, we're done and we advise to go back after 10 days to release the marriage license and once it's released uh, make sure to get married within 120 days um either in church wedding or in a civil wedding otherwise it will expire and you will have to redo the entire process and uh, pay again but uh, me and my husband uh, while we are waiting that 10 days uh, period uh, we went to the mayor's office to see if we could uh, schedule our civil wedding as soon as possible um, even though we don't have the marriage license yet um, as my husband uh, staying only uh, three weeks here in Philippines and uh, we really would like to get married so I'm glad that they agreed so after 10 days of waiting we got back and finally our marriage license was released and we got married in a civil wedding the next day right away so um, we then got the local civil registry marriage certificate copy after two days and we paid 200 pesos for electronic endorsement they will um, send it to PSA and uh, after three months I was able to get the uh, PSA marriage uh, certificate uh, copy. We are just so happy guys that after all what we've been through and uh, the long wait and stressful pro process me and my husband was able to get married and uh, made our one of our dreams to made it reality <laughs> but um, right now we are currently working um, to be together um, so good luck on my journey and um, if you want to follow my spousal visa journey and like this kind of video please uh, subscribe and uh, hit the notification uh, bell button for more uh, future video like this thank you so much and have a good one